On May the 4th, 2010, on a flight provided by South Wings, John Wathan, Hurricane Creek Keeper, flew out over the Gulf of Mexico to take a look firsthand and see where the BP oil slick was and just how close it was to the Alabama shores. Right off the state line, off of Petty Boy Island, is where we first saw the sheen on top of the water. It was very faint, but if you look for it, you could find it. It was about eight miles out from Petty Boy Island. The closer we got to Mississippi, the more evident the line became. It was a clear line through the water where it was white capping on one side and seemed to be much smoother on the other. It was as if someone had stretched saran wrap over the top of the water and made the white caps lay down. Here looking at this buoy you can see the beginning of the rainbow sheen. It's hard to pick up in this camera but if you look you can see the trail behind the buoy in the water. Farther out, the sheen became much thicker and much larger. The enormity of this slick began to sink into me. It seems as if the thing were spreading out over the entire Gulf of Mexico. A line of bright orange, sort of honey colored stuff stretched toward Venice, New Orleans area. The farther out we flew, the thicker it became. This is what's being described as some as the rainbow of outer bands of the oil slick. This first band seemed to stretch from the horizon to horizon east to west. It appeared to be current driven to the north and east while the wind was blowing to the south and west. It seemed like it was shearing the top of it off and just spreading it out over the water. We were forced to fly at a minimum of 3,000 feet for security reasons. The size of the bright orange or honey colored pools of crude that you see in these clips, some are the size of football fields, and they seem to stretch all the way across the horizon. As far as you could see, in either direction. Coming in, we flew back in over the Chandelier Islands. Chandelier Sound looked all back in there around the beaches. The beautiful sand beaches don't seem to be impacted yet. We flew back into Alabama and looked at some of our own islands. We could see the buoys around the islands to protect them from the oncoming oil. Here at Coffee Island, this is the Nature Conservancy Preserve. Hero measures have been taken here to make sure that it was completely encircled. As the buoys broke, people would race out and fix them again. As you see in this clip, there's a flotilla of boats heading for the island to fix the broken barricade. Hats off to the Nature Conservancy and all like them who try to protect this Gulf Coast from people like BP.